we have discussed the techniques of classification and tabulation that help us organize the collected data in a meaningful fashion. However, this way of presenting statistical data does not always prove to be interesting to a layman. Too many figures are often confusing and fail to convey the message effectively. One of the most effective and interesting alternative ways to present statistical data is through diagrams and graphs. There are several ways in which statistical data may be displayed pictorially such as different types of graphs and diagrams. A diagram is a visual form for presenting statistical data for highlighting the basic facts and relationship which are inherent in the data. The diagrammatic representation is more understandable and is appreciated by everyone. There are mainly three types of diagrams. They are dimensional diagrams, cartograms and pictograms. Three types of diagrams are dimensional diagrams. Normally, dimensions are one-dimensional, two-dimensional and three-dimensional. Same way, diagram one-dimensional diagrams are two-dimensional diagrams are three-dimensional diagrams. So, first one is one-dimensional diagram. But one dimension that is length. Length is the same as consider. So, mainly one-dimensional diagrams are line diagrams and bar diagrams. First one, line diagram. And this is the simplest of all diagrams. We are plotting just lines only. Let us do an example. Question is given. Draw a line diagram for the following day. Five towns A, B, C, D, and E, and their population in lakhs is given. So, first, line chart to in the end of Towns are the population of the country. So, one town mark here. That is A, B, C, D and E. We mark that in X axis. Either diagram you should draw X axis and Y axis. X axis and Y axis are the mark here. Origin mark here. Zero mark here. mark here. And if you have a town, you can see towns in the pair A, B, C, D and E. So, mark that anywhere in this X axis. Equal distance in the so you can scale that either one distance, one centimeter distance or two centimeter distance located, equal distance in the In one right point down. because we are drawing line diagram. In population for three in the lakhs, which means first one, A population at the end, seven lakh. So, we need only 1, 2, 3, up to 7 variable numbers. There is no confusion about that. So, first one, A is the mark in the 7 lakh. But lakh is understood, so just plot 7. So, A is the 7 variable So, A is the 7 variable length of line in the line. This is the first line. Same way, B is a 4, so 4 length of the line. Okay. Next one, Next one. That's the second line. Third one, C is 5. So, here we have 5 in the area. 5 length or a straight line towards C. Now D is 2. 2 in an area here. And E is 1. 1 in an area mark here. So this is the corresponding line diagram. And then we will say that 
ഓരോ ടൗണിന്റെയും പോപ്പുലേഷൻ എത്രയാണെന്ന് നോക്കുന്നു ആ പോപ്പുലേഷൻ വൈ ആക്സിൽ എവിടെയാണെന്ന് നോക്കുന്നു ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ എ വേഴ്സ് പോപ്പുലേഷൻ ഓഫ് എ ഇസ് സെവൻ ലാക്സ് സോ സെവനിന്റെ നേരെ പോയിന്റ് മാർക്ക് ചെയ്യാം അവിടെ നിന്ന് താഴേക്ക് എയിലേക്ക് സ്ട്രൈറ്റ് ലൈൻ വരയ്ക്കുന്നു സിമിലർലി ഫോർ ഓൾ ബിക്ക് നേരെ ഫോർ ലെങ്ത് ഉള്ള ഒരു സ്ട്രൈറ്റ് ലൈൻ വരയ്ക്കുന്നു സിക്ക് നേരെ ഫൈവ് ലെങ്ത് ഉള്ള സ്ട്രൈറ്റ് ലൈൻ for b it is 2 and e it is 1 one means 1 lakh population and of the indicate here this is the line diagram for following the following day